At one time, the Robert Frost poem, The Road Not Taken, was treated as some grand symbol of individualism. And the idea that taking the road less traveled made you a better person got pushed so hard that it actually became a symbol of uh, conformity. If you didn't take the road less traveled, somehow you weren't good enough. Now, neither of those ideas really has anything to do with the poem, which isn't surprising because I haven't known critics to be all that sharp when it comes to literature, even if it's what they're supposed to be sharpest about. And one of the reasons I suspect that for this poem is because in many ways the road not taken is a long joke and critics aren't known for getting the joke. I'm going to step back a moment and look earlier in the poem. Of course, it starts off by saying, well, one is, you know, less traveled than the other. Well, maybe not so much less traveled. And ends up, you know, saying, well, let's see. Uh, those four that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. There was no road less taken. There were two paths. It was no big deal as far as anybody could tell. Now, where does the joke come in? Well, of course, the punchline is at the end. If you start to recognize it. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Now, notice some things here. Okay, ages and ages and hence, so we've got this guy going gray, and he says he took the road less traveled. Well, first of all, we know that's not true. So he's, he's changed the story. And it's made all the difference. And he's telling it with a sigh so melodramatic. And it was just a choice between two ordinary paths. Now... If you've ever heard, you know, about, you know, it's like, you know, I had to walk 10 miles to school. And then it becomes, had to walk 10 miles through the snow to school. And eventually it's 10 miles through the snow uphill both ways to school. It's the kind of exaggeration that is made fun of. It's the old man joke. And I get to say that because I'm an old man. And I say these kind of things about how things used to be. But we've got this guy making a big deal out of what was probably not a big deal. And it's made all the difference. Well, did it? Maybe. Could be. What difference did it make? We usually don't know. Because, as the poem indicates, we don't get to take both paths and compare. So, if this path made good things happen, would the other path have made bad things happen? Good things happen? The same things happen? Probably all of those. 
We usually just don't know. Sometimes we can say, well, you know, because this happened, this happened. We do get to see some connections on some of the choices. Now, many years ago, I was out walking at night. It's pretty dang dark night in an area I didn't know well. Thought I was headed in the right direction until I saw headlights on the road and realized I was not headed towards the road. Changed direction. I changed paths. I went back there in the daytime and I was, oh, somewhere around 20 feet from walking over the edge of a 2,000 foot cliff with no guardrail. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the assumption that changing paths was the right decision. I I'm pretty sure it made all the difference. Now, on the other hand, if I had taken three more steps, maybe there was a hundred dollar bill lying on the ground that I would have seen. If I had taken twenty more steps and gone off the edge of the cliff. Maybe I would have learned how to fly on the way down. But I'm not going to bet on it. And I'm not going to go back and try just to find out. I can live with that choice. I can live with not knowing what difference this choice or that choice made. But at the same time, I'm glad I looked back to find out more about the different choices. So, if you want to say the poem is about something, it's about making choices, learning from them as best you can, without getting too caught up in so think so much time spent thinking about that choice that you never get around to seeing or making the current choices and living with the result now you try you try to make better choices based on the what happened from choices before that's pretty basic but there are not that many choices that are absolute, that are right or wrong choices. There are different choices, there are better and lesser choices, and there are some pretty dang bad choices and some pretty good choices. And most of them we don't even notice when we make them. If we spent our time trying to analyze each choice, we wouldn't get anything else done. So we try to make our choices, we go along, we try to spot the moment when a choice does matter so that we can take a little more time with it. And we maybe spend some time looking back at the choices we made to figure out if they did make all the difference, or what difference and what could be done differently. But it's not a tidy poem. It's not, I chose the road less traveled and that has made all the difference. Uh -uh. That's the old man joke. So don't fall for it. Laugh at it. Don't fall for it. Make your choice. Think about it. Learn from it. Live with it. Do not get caught up in it. And that will make all the difference. Oh, and by the way, just enjoy the poem. 
Never let anybody take away the joy. That is a choice to make. Well, I hope this doesn't take away the joy, but I hope it does reshape the joy a little bit. I hope you'll go back and take another look at the poem and think about it and come back and watch more of the videos. So long.